In the last video, we took a look at working with the time editor. In this video, we'll continue working with time by using the step editor. The step editor allows for a more straightforward way of adding and editing points in the editor. To activate the step editor, simply click on the step icon to the left of the editing window. Once it is active, the normal cursor will be replaced with a pencil one. Now to add an edit point, you only need to click at the desired location of the editor and the point is added. You can also add several points at once by clicking and dragging within the editor. If I am to click and drag without actually changing the values, i.e. moving only left to right, then when I let go of the mouse, only the first and last points will remain, as the other points created would serve no purpose. The step editor also works with the snap feature, and if it is enabled, then all the edit points will be replaced according to the current value set by the snap. However, if I am to disable the snap feature, using the step editor, I could draw in a more detailed curve. Okay, so now that we have had a look at working with the step editor, let's move on to the two slot performance parameters, key held and one shot. The key held option, which can be found under the editing window, and when enabled, Patterns that are selected will only be played while the key is being held. To demonstrate, I will enable key held on one slot, and in this case, it is the complex one slot, and then select any other slot. Now when I play my key on my MIDI controller, the key that triggers complex one, the pattern will only show as long as I'm holding the key. If I am to let go of the key, then the pattern will return to whichever pattern was previously selected. You can see that this would be a useful option when performing using Growspeed, or simply recording your changes in Growspeed as a performance. The next performance parameter to look at is the one-shot option. This function allows you to, when selecting a slot, have Growspeed play through that slot once, then return to the first slot. And that will conclude our look at editing time in Growspeed. In the next video, we'll begin our look at editing the volume.